Humanity has always looked up, wondering about our place in the cosmos. For centuries, our eyes and then telescopes brought the heavens closer, each new instrument a leap forward. We built bigger telescopes, even sent them into space, like Hubble, revealing breathtaking galaxies and nebulae. But we yearned to see further, to witness the universe's first light. This yearning gave birth to the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of human ingenuity, designed to look back over 13 and a half billion years. Its giant golden mirror captures faint infrared light, allowing Webb to see through cosmic dust and witness the birth of stars and planets. Stationed a million miles from Earth at a Lagrange point, Webb is shielded from heat and light, able to detect the faintest whispers of ancient light. Its mission answer our oldest questions. Where did we come from? How did the universe begin? Are we alone? Webb's sensitivity is legendary. It could spot a bumblebee on the moon. So when a mysterious visitor from another star system passed through our neighborhood, scientists knew Webb was our best hope to see it. A new era of discovery had dawned, and the universe was about to reveal one of its most tantalizing secrets. In October 2017, astronomers in Hawaii spotted a faint, fast-moving point of light. At first it seemed like a typical asteroid or comet, but its path revealed it came from interstellar space, the first ever detected. They named it Oumuamua, meaning messenger from afar arriving first. Unlike comets, it had no glowing tail, and unlike asteroids, it accelerated as it left the sun, without any visible outgassing. Its brightness flickered wildly, suggesting an extreme elongated shape, like a cosmic cigar or pancake. No known object in our solar system matched its appearance or behavior. Oumuamua was an outlier. Its origin, trajectory, lack of coma, strange acceleration and bizarre shape defied explanation. The scientific community buzzed with theories. Was it a new type of natural object or something else entirely? Some, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, dared to ask. Could it be an artifact? A piece of alien technology? A solar sail? Or probe? The messenger from afar had delivered a profound puzzle. Its brief visit left us with more questions than answers. Was it a cosmic fluke? or a sign we're not alone. The debate had only just begun, and the mystery of Oumuamua was far from over. The discovery of Oumuamua triggered a global scramble to observe it before it vanished. Telescopes worldwide, including Hubble and Spitzer, raced to gather data as it sped out of the solar system. Its color was reddish, its motion tumbling, its brightness wildly variable, confirming its bizarre shape. Scientists searched for gas or dust, any clue to its mysterious acceleration, but found nothing. Even radio telescopes listened for signals, hoping for a sign of artificial origin. The cosmos remained silent. Oumuamua transmitted nothing. All we saw was a single, unresolved point of light, like trying to understand an elephant by its shadow. Our best instruments could only infer its properties, never reveal its true form. After a few frantic weeks, Oumuamua faded from view, slipping back into interstellar darkness. It left behind a trail of unanswered questions and years of debate. Was it a natural oddity or something more? The world was left to wonder. Our first interstellar visitor had come and gone in a cosmic blink, but its mystery lingered, haunting astronomers and fueling new dreams of discovery. The search for answers had only just begun, and the universe was keeping its secrets, for now. Years passed, but Oumuamua's mystery endured. By the time the James Webb Space Telescope launched, Oumuamua was billions of miles away, seemingly impossible to find. Yet a small team at the Space Telescope Science Institute had a bold idea, use Webb's unmatched sensitivity for a cosmic long shot. They meticulously modeled Oumuamua's trajectory despite massive uncertainties. Instead of a single snapshot, they planned a grid-like search of the most probable sky region. It was a huge gamble. Webb's observing time is precious and chasing a ghost was controversial, but the potential reward was historic, the first ever image of an interstellar object. After months of calculations, the program was approved. In early 2025, Webb began scanning a tiny patch of the constellation Pegasus, collecting hours of deep images. Data streamed back to Earth, computers sifting for a faint moving pinprick of light. The team watched, breathless, for a sign of the messenger's return. The hunt for Oumuamua was on, one last chance to solve its riddle. The search was painstaking, weeks of scanning deep field images, hunting for a moving speck among countless galaxies. False positives abounded, but the team pressed on. Then, 
On August 5, 2025, a faint object appeared, shifting exactly as predicted by Oumuamua's projected path. Crosschecks confirmed it, not an artifact, but real. Against all odds, Webb had reacquired Oumuamua, now over 15 billion miles from Earth. The raw data was just a few pixels, but it was enough. Stacking and processing the images, the team sharpened the view. The world was unaware of the monumental discovery unfolding. The team worked around the clock, excitement mixed with responsibility. They were about to reveal the true face of the messenger from afar. Would it be a simple rock or something stranger? The anticipation was immense. Humanity was about to get its first real look at an object from another star. The final image would peel back the last layer of the mystery, and the universe was about to answer, at least in part. The final image stunned the room. Oumuamua was not a cigar, pancake, or lumpy asteroid. Instead, it was a remarkably thin, flat shard, long, wide, but only meters thick. Its surface was reddish with patches of metallic reflectivity. Most shocking, one side was smooth, the other etched with a complex, grid-like pattern, unlike any natural body. The structure seemed purposeful, almost manufactured. Spectroscopic data revealed organic tholins and, surprisingly, metallic alloys not typically found in natural space rocks. The combination was unprecedented. The image ruled out leading natural theories, not a nitrogen iceberg, not a typical comet or asteroid. Its thinness and large surface area explained its acceleration. It acted like a solar sail, pushed by sunlight. The mystery deepened. Was this nature's marvel or an artifact? The universe had given us a new puzzle, and the debate was about to ignite. The web image sent shockwaves worldwide, splitting scientists into two camps. Some argued for a natural explanation, perhaps a new class of interstellar object or a fragment from a shattered metallic planet. They pointed to the organic tholins and proposed exotic natural processes for the grid-like patterns. Extraordinary claims, they insisted, require extraordinary evidence. Others, led by Avi Loeb, argued the anomalies fit a single artificial explanation, a solar sail. Its shape, thinness, and acceleration matched what we ourselves are developing. The grid could be a support lattice, the metals, sail material. Was it more likely nature created a perfect solar sail by chance? or that another civilization built it. The debate was no longer just about astronomy, it was about our place in the universe. Oumuamua had forced us to confront the possibility of other technological species. The evidence was tantalizing, but not yet conclusive. The search for answers had entered a new era. The image didn't end the mystery, it transformed it. If Oumuamua is an artifact, who built it? Was it a probe or derelict technology from a vanished civilization? Its silent passage suggests a ghost ship, a relic adrift for eons. What was its purpose? Its trajectory seemed random, its journey unguided. The discovery forces us to rethink our search for extraterrestrial intelligence, not just listening for signals, but looking for artifacts. How many more are out there? For everyone we see, thousands may pass unnoticed. Is interstellar space filled with natural rocks or technological debris? The Oumuamua image turned the void into a place of possibility. The questions are sharper, more urgent, and the search has only just begun. The universe, it seems, is far stranger than we imagined. The discovery of Oumuamua's true form is not an endpoint, but a new beginning. We've moved from speculation to tangible evidence, galvanizing new research and search strategies. Scientists are combing archival data for other missed interstellar visitors. Future missions like the Comet Interceptor will be ready to chase down the next messenger. The ultimate dream, to land on one of these objects, to touch a piece of another star system. The discovery challenges our deepest assumptions. Are we alone? The image doesn't prove we're not, but it's the first credible physical evidence that we might not be. We're now searching for artifacts, not just life. Oumuamua's message. The universe is stranger and more complex than we ever dreamed. Our quest to understand it has only just begun. We are watching, not just listening. The cosmic story has a new chapter, and humanity is ready to read it.